Hello, good day viewers. Here is another interesting question we are going to solve today. The question says, this point P here and this point Q are the centers of the two circles. This line MN is a tangent to the two circles at M and N. And this angle NTP here is 3.5 times the size of angle MTP. So we can label this X. And if this is X, this must be equal to 3.5 X. Find the area of the two circles if the circumference of this circle A here is 44 centimeters and the length of this line PQ is 39 centimeters. So how can we find the areas of the circles? The formula for the area of the circle is pi r squared. Pi is a constant which we all know to be 22 over 7 and r is the radius. Now to find the area of the circles, what we need is the radius of each. So here, since we have the circumference of this circle here to be 44 centimeters, and the formula for the circumference of the circle is 2 pi r, we can find the radius of the circle by equating 44 centimeters to 2 pi r. So now, 2 pi r equal to 44 centimeters. Pi is a constant which is 22 over 7. So 2 times 22 over 7 r equal to 44 centimeters. 2 times 22 over 7 is 6.2857. So 6.2857 r equal to 44. Making r the subject, we divide both sides by 6.2857. So here, 6.2857 cancels 6.2857. And here, 44 over 6.2857 is 7. So the radius of this circle A here is 7 centimeters. To find its area, we substitute R equal to 7 into this equation here. So now area equal to 22 over 7 times 7 squared. 7 squared is 7 times 7. Here 7 cancels 7. And area now equal to 22 times 7. 22 times 7 is 154. So the area of circle A is 154 centimeters squared. We found the area of circle A. Now coming back to this circle B here, to find its area, we need the length of its radius. We don't have it, but we can find it using the information here. So since this line MN is a tangent to the two circles at M and N, in the circle theory, there is a rule that says the tangent of a circle is perpendicular to its radius at point of contact. So that means this line MN here is perpendicular to the radius of this circle here at this point. Let's draw the radius out. And also perpendicular to the radius of this circle A here at this point M. So here also, let's draw the radius out. This and this here are right angles. And recall we found the radius of this circle A here to be equal to 7 centimeters. So this line here is 7 centimeters in length. So from this here, how can you find the length of this radius here? If you look here, this is a right angle triangle. And we have the length of this line PQ here to be 39 centimeters. If we have the length of this line QT here and the size of any of these two angles, we can find the length of this side here. Now here, if you look, this angle and this angle are equal because they are opposite angles formed by the intersection of two straight lines. But this X, if you look, this angle and this angle are lying on the same straight line. And recall, we have the sum of angles on a straight line to be 180 degree. So we can form an equation that x plus 3.5x equal to 180 degree. x plus 3.5x is 4.5x. So 4.5x equal to 180 degree. To find the exact value of x, we divide both sides by 4.5. So 4.5x over 4.5 now equal to 180 degree over 4.5. Here, 4.5 cancels 4.5. And here, 180 degree divided by 4.5 is 40 degree. 
so x equal to 40 degree substituting x equal to 40 degree here this angle is 40 degree and here 3.5 x equal to 3.5 times 40 degree which is 140 degree now recall we noted that this angle and this angle are equal and hence this also 40 degree so what about line QT how can you find its length from this triangle here since we have the length of this side here as 7 centimeters and this as 40 degree we can find the length of line PT and subtract it from 39 centimeters to have the length of line QT so using the SOCA tour now from this angle here this here is the opposite because it's facing angle 40 degree and here the hypotenuse because it's facing the right angle so here sine theta equal to opposite of a hypotenuse theta is 40 degree opposite is 7 and hypotenuse is line pt so sine 40 degree equal to 7 over line pt making line pt the subject of the formula line pt equal to 7 over sine 40 degree 7 over sine 40 degree is 10.89 so line PT equal to 10.89 centimeters. So if line PT is 10.89 centimeters, line QT must be equal to 39 centimeters minus 10.89 centimeters, which equal to 28.11 centimeters. So now we found the length of line QT to be 28.11 centimeters. Back to this triangle here. Since it is a right angle triangle, from this angle here also, this radius is the opposite, and this here is a hypotenuse because it's facing the right angle. So using the SOCA tour, sine theta equal to opposite of our hypotenuse. Theta is 40 degree, opposite is the radius, and hypotenuse equal to 28.11 centimeters. So sine 40 degree equal to R over 28.11. Making R the subject of the formula, R equal to sine 40 degree times 28.11, which equal to 18.0688. So the radius of this circle V here is found to be 18.0688 centimeters. Now to find the area of circle B, we substitute 18.0688 here. So area equal to 22 over 7 times 18.0688 squared, what's equal to 1026.0848. So we found the area of circle B to be equal to 1026.0848 centimeters square.